Hi, I'm Barry Chapman, and my wife and I own Chapman Medical Products, and we are the inventors of the original cleanable gate belt. We called it the Gator Belt, and I'm sure some of you are familiar with that. You can clean it in between each patient use. We ask you to go to our website, chapmanmedical.com, and uh, get familiar with that product, but what I'm here today for is to show you our newest product, which is the antimicrobial gate belt. It's this uh, aqua-colored belt. It's a little translucent. It's very soft. It's uh, reminiscent of the days when people were using the cotton or the nylon web belts. It's got that kind of a feel to it, nice and soft. And uh, one of the really neat things about this invention is that I have antimicrobial components that are built right into the vinyl itself. And what that does is it's evenly distributed because I put it in during the manufacturing process and uh, the uh, antimicrobial components are evenly spread throughout the material so that it can when germs come in contact with the vinyl, it kills them on contact. Uh, not immediately uh, at times, but uh, within a couple of days, it usually kills all the germs that are on it. Any gross contamination needs to be wiped off in between each patient, so you still need to do that. But this is an extra barrier in between each patient, so you wipe it down and you take off 99% of the germs, and this just helps to kill that last 1%, help to break that cycle of spreading germs. So. Uh, it's one big benefit of it. It's a little expensive, but it's worth every penny because you think about it, you, you uh, spread germs from patient to patient, you put this in your pocket or in your purse, and you carry the germs home with you. So that's one of the big benefits is it helps reduce those few germs that you do have left behind, the residual germs, and uh, helps to get rid of most of those. So your chance of bringing home germs are that much less. So I'm going to bring this up a little closer so I can show you what I have here. And you can see it's fairly compact, and it's made of, like I said, it's a soft, uh, very nice, it's even clean smelling, believe it or not, but it's a nice aqua color. You can, if you hold up the sun, you can almost see through. It's pretty cool stuff. It's very soft. It was designed that way because that's one of the complaints that we've heard throughout the years is that the vinyls are too hard, too harsh on the hands. And uh, we've got a couple different versions, but this... Uh, metal buckle is one that I personally like the best because it's nickel plated and nickel is a natural antimicrobial. It kills germs on contact. That's why they make you know door handles and stuff out of the different metals, nickel, copper, you know zinc and stuff like that because they do have a tendency to kill germs at rest. So uh, here's uh, the buckle. It's a standard pivoting jaw, and this part here where my thumb is is the uh, pivoting jaw portion. And this right here is a row of teeth that grip onto the gate belt material. So some of the neat features of this are it's been around in the industry for years and years, so most people are familiar with it. It acts the same with the cloth as it does with the vinyl. So you just take the dead end of the gate belt itself and you put that underneath the pivoting jaw and you slide it through and that's the appropriate position here. So the sliding, uh, the pivoting jaw goes up against the patient's skin. The eye and the Chapman logo go away from the skin. So you want to slide the belt around the patient's waist under the pivoting jaw. So you slide it under the pivoting jaw, between the pivoting jaw and the teeth. The teeth are not sharp. If they are, you should uh, just double check and make sure because they should not be sharp but they're sharp enough that they grip on the material. So you want to tighten it up and each facility has their own standards that they tell you to tighten it. Some say a finger, two fingers, a hand, two hands, whatever. So whatever your facility requires you, that's what you want to tighten it up to. So you tighten it up and then you slide the dead end of the gate belt in through the eye. And when you have it through the eye, the next step is you want to tuck it between the the uh, gate belt and the patient's skin. So you, I go from the bottom up and the reason I do that is because when I go to grip the belt it's very comfortable this way. And then the other thing you want to do is take the buckle and move it away from the patient's hands so it's like out of sight out of mind. They won't fiddle with it and loosen it up while you're walking them down the hall or transferring them. So very nice, very comfortable. We want you to go to Chapman Medical Products so it's chapmanmedical.com. Take a peek at it. We'd like you to buy one. Get a 30-day, no questions asked guaranteed.